Hey guys, Will here. Um, just thought I'd show you a few other things. I don't always show this part of the garden, but uh, got some pumpkins, zucchini, and some containers. Let's just take a look at those. So here's a zucchini plant. I had potatoes here. I've just planted three rows of spinach for the fall. But uh, you can see here, I wasn't really expecting much from this. There's a couple of zucchinis here. You can see one over there as well, right there. Anyway, it's starting to come back a bit, maybe because the potatoes are gone. Here's a little patch. I cleared out some of the, of the edge of the forest here. Potato vine's gotten pretty big. There's um, there's one here. Here's a little butternut squash. And then we have pumpkin over here, I think, as well. And these vines are... Uh, kind of spreading quite a bit here. Here's a container for melons. I've actually picked one of the melons. These are like small little things. I've picked cucumbers here just in a container, but there's more coming. So if you look here, but I've actually just picked a cucumber. You can see little babies. It's amazing how they uh, keep growing. There's going to be a couple there. So they've been but uh, this is three cherry tomatoes. I, I just picked a bunch, but so many here you can see all over the place. Here's, so I've got three different containers. So it's just a container. These are like determinant. They only get about three feet high. But so many. I've been picking them already like and eating them, putting them on salads and potatoes. And then I've got three jalapeno plants here. So many jalapenos. I'm just gonna let them, they get dark and they get, they'll eventually turn red, apparently, but uh, I've been cutting them green and there's just so many. And as I mentioned before, I got three containers of spinach here. And uh, over here, chives, cilantro, romaine lettuce, and there's gonna be a couple spinaches in there as well. So I hope you like that. Um, I've also got this greenhouse that I'm gonna be, in the fall, put some stuff in there as it cools down. And uh, I'm gonna have a uh, one or two layers. I might have another, like a sort of a cold frame or a little mini greenhouse on top of some containers. I'll move these in there. And hopefully, be able to harvest stuff later into, depending on how much I have, you know, later into the winter, like December even, if um, if I have enough volume. Because it'll stop growing once the light reduces the daylight. Uh, you know, it'll sort of stagnate at that point. And so hopefully I can harvest things, keep harvesting them if I haven't eaten them all yet. But, um, so trying to extend the season quite a bit. But if you have containers, uh, like I mentioned, do a little container in your house of some chives or herbs or something like that. Lettuce, you know, if you have a little deck or patio. It's a lot of fun and it tastes amazing. Like the, everything I've been growing, the cherry tomatoes, the potatoes, the lettuce, it just tastes so much better, even organic, because I don't use any animal products or... Um, you know, bone meal, blood meal, animal manures, and pesticides and all that stuff. Even organic uses uh, non-toxic herbicides and pesticides. So, And they also ship things from a far distance. So there's a global impact, global um, footprint, climate change, stuff like that. Um, carbon footprint. And um, they picked some things like tomatoes really early, so they don't ripen a lot of times on the vine. So, And that's depending on where you live. You know, some people have access to amazing um, markets and stuff like that. But a lot of us get, like I'm in Canada, you get shipped, stuff shipped from all over the place. So, And it's so much fun to every day see stuff growing and and uh, you can even save money after the initial investment in the, some of the gardening supplies. So I love talking about gardening and I know, you know a lot of you are here for weight loss recipes and stuff like that. I'm trying to also encourage you guys to um, to get into gardening and to look into veganic gardening as well if you happen to talk to farmers or see what kind of stuff they're using even if it's organic see what kind of things they're using in their operations all right guys we'll talk to you later